Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Marco and I'm Mr. Good Riddance. For my last tutorial from my series on cookie cutters, I will try a star cookie cutter pour using black, gold and yellow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find some inspiration for your next work, but now, without any further ado, let's do this! Today's tutorial will cover an extremely easy technique that you can achieve if you have a cookie cutter and a rotating platform or a cake turntable like I'm using here. So I'm starting by adding my black base paint that I will now spread around the canvas by just rotating the platform a bit. It doesn't matter if it doesn't turn out into a perfect circle, we just want to spread it around a bit. So now I'll add my cookie cutter to the center and I'm having every corner of my cookie cutter aimed at each corner of my hexagonal canvas. Now I'll add a bit of black before adding some gold and yellow. So pouring at the center of the cookie cutter. And now adding some gold. I'll give it a first push, you won't see much happening here, the gold is filtering through the cookie cutter and into the black, but again we won't see much now, we'll start seeing some paint exiting the cookie cutter with our next push. So now I'm adding my mid yellow here. A bit of extra black in the center. and then my lighter yellow on top. So right now it kind of looks like a sheriff star here. <laughs> so you can see now that the yellow is starting to filter through the cookie cutter and it's creating an effect that doesn't really look amazing right now, but don't worry at all, we'll keep on adding paint and pushing the canvas on the turntable until we'll see a better effect. Now, I'm always trying to add paint in the corners of the cookie cutter that are next to the mainly black areas, as I want to try to have my colors exit those corners to fill the black spaces. As you can see now, I'm also starting to lift and twist my cookie cutter a bit to create a different effect. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some black in the empty spaces as well as some gold at the edges of the canvas before having it rotate one last time. So now I'm gonna gently lift the cookie cutter and as you can see the star shape stayed there. 
and now I'm simply gonna use a spoon to cover all the edges and make sure that there are no empty spaces anywhere on the canvas. And that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at it. So I'm really happy with how this experiment turned out. I feel that it kind of looks like the effect you'd get by doing a Dutch pour, but without the hassle of having to use a hair dryer. I'm also very happy that the center of the painting stayed in the shape of a star once I lift the cookie cutter. I think it gives it a really unique look. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy this series on cookie cutter pours? I hope you found my tips useful and that I managed to inspire you to try something new. Next week's tutorial will be about one of my favorite techniques ever, which will be using a comb and silicone oil to create and control your cells. So please subscribe to my channel to be notified once I publish those videos. For now, I thank you so very much for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions and as usual, I'll see you next time.